Hello, my name is Huang Chen. I'm a year two student at the University of Warwick in the United Kingdom. The paper I will be presenting today is titled A Study of How Technological Innovation Affects China's Economic Development. There are five important parts in my dissertation. There are introduction, data sources, and variable selection, econometric model, empirical tests, and results analysis, and conclusion. The first part is introduction. With the rapid development of artificial intelligence in recent years, the widespread use of AI may lead to a new technological revolution. The impacts of technological innovation on economic growth has always been the focus of research in the field of econom economics. Therefore, based on the important impact of technological innovation on economic growth, I started this, this, this paper. The next part is data sources and variable selection. The research period spans from 2011 to 2020 and includes 13 provinces and autonomous areas in China. I choose the GDP and of different regions of China to represent the economic growth and set is at the dependent variable. Patterns are one of the essential indicators of scientific and technological innovation output and an important benchmark for measuring the innovation capacity and the technology protection level of a region or a unit. Therefore, I choose the number of patterns in different regions of China to represent scientific and technological innovation and set it at the independent variable. Also, I set four control variables. There are the total amount of technological contract transactions, year-end resident population, total investment of foreign invested enterprises, and marketization indicators. And um, it's also showed um, in table one. The next part is econometric model. Um, a two-way fixed effect model is used in this paper to analyze the impact of technological innovation on economic development. Since China is a relative big region with evident divisions and uneven resource distribution among provinces, using two-way fixed effect models can enhance the validity of the result. The alpha and uh, alpha i and gamma t in this formula um, are province and time fix effects. The next part is empirical test and result analysis. Um, the first one is basic regression analysis. All empirical tests in, is um, run in the data. And first one, I run the basic regression. Um, the conclusion is that technological innovation has a significant positive correlation with economic development at a significant level of 1%. And all control variables had a significant positive impact on economic development too. The next part is analysis of, of heterogeneities. And the reason why I do see um, why I do regional heterogeneities is that China's economic growth has been extremely uneven. And I use a time series plot of different variables for the East and West regions to confirm and verify the different economic development situation in the East and West and do the regional heterogeneity. The conclusion show that foreign investments play a great role in, in the Western region. And for the Eastern region, the labor driving GDP is stronger than that in the Western region. In order to test the reliable of the result, I use a robustness test and the result shows that the regression result of technical innovation on economic development are robust and reliable. The next part and the least part is conclusion. 
um, from the test and the results, um, we can see, um, we can conclude that under the condition of market-oriented indicators, permanent resident population, total amount of technical contract transactions, total amount of foreign investor enterprises, and the other control variables. Technological innovation had a significant positive impact on economic development. And the more patent applications and authorizations, the better the economic development. That's all. Thank you.